I'm doing an inspection on a uh, Dodge Durango and I noticed it was uh, has some uh, worn upper ball joints. So I'm going to show you how I check those, how I, what I found on them, and uh, then we're going to replace them. I'll bring you along, you can watch, uh, maybe learn something. Right, so here is a, uh, a upper ball joint. This is the passenger side. Uh, the uh, upper, both upper ball joints are loose on this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom this thing in and then I'm going to shake this tire wheel top to bottom. And you can see that thing moving back and forth. Now the lower ball joint is uh, much more robust, so um, it's not loose at all, uh, it's just the upper one. And on this particular model, uh, the upper ball joint comes with a control arm. So we'll be, uh, we'll be replacing the whole control arm on this thing. And you can see the control arm is right here, ball joint's right there. So both sides upper uh, on the... Uh, left and the right uppers are both wore out. So uh, we're going to replace those today and we're going to do an alignment on it. So you can see the control arm is right here, ball joint's right here, and you can see that thing moving pretty good right there. There should be zero movement on that thing at all. So it's a pretty simple job. You got a nut here, you got two nuts here. These are uh, eccentrics, so you can move the in and out for camber and caster. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go knock this thing out and then uh, get the new ones put on. Okay, so this nut here is 13 sixteenths. We're going to conduct a little persuasion on this one right here to make sure it, get it to come out nice and easy. Eccentric bolts are uh, 18s. Just like that, it's out. I gotta see how, how sloppy that is. That's just plain wore out. So, pretty simple. What's nice here is that the old bolts left uh, markings on here. You can see that the old bolts left markings on here on both sides. So, so we'll be able to line up the new bolts uh, with those markings and get us pretty darn close. So this is our new control arm. So this is cast uh, iron. That was cast aluminum. Uh, 
doesn't make much difference in the ball joint, but it uh, makes for a more, much more stout control arm. Uh, this is a pretty good quality. So it comes with a grease circ. I'm going to put that grease circ in right now. There's our grease circ. Uh, I won't put any grease in until we get it in there. Uh, but uh, ready to put it in? New nut comes with the ball drum. I'll get that to specs here in just a sec. There's markings. This the the old nut mark is right there, so the new nut's gonna go right in the line. And underneath here, you can see the markings there behind that nut there, and we'll push that one in the same spot. If we get it real close, aligning will be just a a matter of a few degrees. Okay, uh, torque specs on the uh, eccentric bolts are 75.
and that's one of them. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the other side, uh, and then I'll bring you along to do the uh, alignment. So I got the alignment done. Uh, we were really, really close. Uh, didn't have to do any adjustments on the caster or the camber. Uh, toe was out a little bit on the driver's side, but uh, a couple a couple cranks on the uh, tie rod end and it uh, cleaned right up. So uh, that's a, that's a, a, a fix. Uh, we're gonna send that one down the road. Thanks for watching.